Bryson on the fourth green for birdie. It's leaked on him. The Oklahoma Wildcatters. Wildcat. Wildcatters, yeah. You know what a wildcatter is, don't I you? I have no idea. It has to do with uh, oil fields. Oil uh, yeah. You guys working the oil fields, which are very common, especially in western Oklahoma. Charles Howell, the third of the crushers who won the first title of the season defending in Mayakoba, Mexico. That's a wonderful shot from Charles Howell, the third. Back for a year, David. Hmm? What would you be seen doing with the green jacket if you had it for um, a year as a champion? Charles Howell III with his second shot at number 12. Yeah, and he'll have that to get it to two under. On the live line, Bryson DeChambeau for birdie at nine. Bryson one under par. To ensure his presence in the Live Golf League this season. That was for birdie at 14 for Scott. Charles Howell III. Of the crushes, his second shot into the 10th for Charles Howell. Bryson, 12. Orange. Really want to tune in. I, I mean, even over all the superstars, you can spend an hour listening to that young guy talk to Sue Ann and I. It is. So impressive. Yeah. yeah. Over at 13, Bryson down the hill for birdie. Right in the middle. Bryson on the live line at 14. Hit it firmly on the live line. Bryson on the tee at 16. Oh! That is a brave shot. Bryson DeChambeau, birdie 17. To the second of Bryson DeChambeau. That was a gap wedge. Back at four, here's Bryson after the duffed wedge. Oh. Around the greens. Hold on. You mentioned uh, Brooks Kepka and the potential of Jerry for going low today. He has won the previous two tournaments here, both via playoffs with Uline and Gooch. I can't do an impression of Sue Ann. But it went in. The Royal Greens, Paul Casey, who had a, an excellent opening round in Mexico and also in Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago. Bryson DeChambeau a moment ago on 12, his second shot. Back to the dad theme, another player who was introduced to the game from his father. A six at 13, he drops back to five under par and a Ban Lahiri just a few moments ago. Uh, this for birdie at the first, and that's nicely rolled in. It's a long shot, but you never know with Brooks. He'll be thinking about a back-to-back -back team victory as well. How about Bryson, his second shot into the eighth? Look out for the crushers today, Anoban Lahiri. He's two under par on Championship Sunday. This is his second shot into the seventh. Bryson DeChambeau's quartet. Before that, Bon, Bondito, calls himself when we play in Mexico. Honor Bon Lahiri. That's Charles Hall the third, second at 14. What oh, a beautiful shot from the right rough. Charles Howell the third for birdie at 13. It's been a good week for Chucky three sticks and he's got the crusher. 
Well, the uh, competitive juices will be flowing for Bryson DeChambeau, who may be out of it individually, but the Crushers are surging there. Eight under par. The Crushers are just pouring it on here late on on Championship Sunday. This is one of the all-time great round three performances by any of our teams. Just incredible. If Bryson drains this, it'll be one shot. It was ten shots not so long ago, and it's got a chance, and it's in! With Stinger, but Captain Fantastic Bryson Woo! DeChambeau, who is 11 under par, has re-established the lead, and Bryson, Bryson DeChambeau at 14. This for birdie. Now, Bryson is out of the reckoning, you would think, individually, unless he, this one, Could be even better, Paul Casey. <laughs> well, that is a near certain birdie for Paul Casey. Bryson, fresh from an eagle. And it's in! And he knows. An eagle there for Bryson, and a birdie at his last hole, it'll be a 60. His teammate, Charles Howell, four under today. T shot at three. This is a staggering display at the moment by the Crushers. Mm, no, beautiful. Never going to miss. That had to come right at the end. Casey at 17 for the Crushers and another birdie. <laughs> Bryson is on the par five fourth, his penultimate hole. His second shot. Oh, right into the heart of the green from the rough. In live golf history, the four aces came back from a seven shot deficit in Adelaide in front of thousands of fans in 2023. They're 10 shots better as a team than in the next best scorer for the day. Oh, that's a final round. 64 for Charles Howell the third. Bryson, congratulations. You guys are the team winners here in Jeddah. You guys collectively shot six under yesterday. Yeah. Today, you collectively shot 20 under. <laughs> what happened overnight? Uh, just our team is such a, how do I say it? We have a lot of resolve. We uh, come back from tough uh, go-aheads and I'll say that Charles, Paul, and Bond, they never give up. And that's why I have them on the team, because we know every day we can go super low. And um, clearly, that was the case today. We were pretty, uh, hopefully, we kind of shocked the, the whole ecosystem of live. Uh, I think that's hopefully a jolt in their pants going, oh, wait a second, these guys, these guys are, are pretty solid. So proud of these guys, proud of Charles for uh, the way he came back and played today. And um, I, I even saw him on two. <laughs> I saw him hit it close, I was clapping, he couldn't hear me, so it's cool, like even though I'm playing well, I'm still rooting for everybody else, it's it's a cool environment, I love it. Now, you, I watched you play yesterday, you struggled off the tee, what was the difference between yesterday and today? Uh, the, well, the driver face just flattened a bit and I didn't have, I lost control of it and then put a new driver in and sure enough, yippee ki -yay, a little straighter <laughs> today and then I uh, made a couple more putts, so. Well, Charles, I think this is the one of the biggest comeback uh, and the, the team thing here in, in Liv. What are your thoughts on that? How proud are you of your team? Well, you know, today was a tough day. It was really windy out there. Um, you know, the golf course isn't easy. If you get off a little bit, it can uh, it can make you look foolish. So, uh, you yeah, know, I was really proud of the team. Uh, I was proud of how, you know, everybody hung in there. And obviously we have Bryson setting the example out there. He kept making birdies. He was up in the group in front of me. So I kept watching all the birdies he was making. And uh, I tried to keep up with him, but just uh, couldn't do it. Well, congratulations, guys, and uh, have fun with the champagne spring.